Good morning. Good morning. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It's 6.20 in the morning on Saturday, June 19th, 2021. Saturday, June 19th, 2021, 6.20 in the morning here in California. And uh, we have a, a warning for the uh, uh, for California and more specifically the uh, San Francisco Bay. That is the most likely spot. Um, let's take a look at the action over the last 24 hours. So you see most of the significant quakes here right around San Francisco Bay that we had a uh, 2.9 near Monterey and a 2.5 in Willits, 2.5 near um, the Geysers in Santa Rosa area and a 2.6 in Hayward. That's where uh, I believe the uh, strong earthquake will occur during the next 48 hours is in uh, the Hayward, San Francisco Bay area. Just a few minutes ago, there was another quake right here near Fremont. And uh, this is the most likely spot from uh, San Leandro to Hayward to Fremont, that area along the Hayward Fault is uh, the most likely spot for this earthquake to occur. And uh, let's take a look at some of the graphs here. This spike in risk here produced a 5.9 off the northwest coast, coast of California. And uh, now that we have this spike in risk here coming up on the 20th and 21st, uh, I've had it necessary to put out a warning for, uh, for California. And right now, the highest risk is in the San Francisco Bay. However, the, uh, uh, we could get uh, a, a couple strong earthquakes. Uh, there's a very high risk in San Francisco Bay, also near the Salton Sea. Here's the graph for San Francisco Bay, uh, the peak coming up on the 20th to 21st. Uh, of course, we can get that quake beforehand. I think we'll get some four shocks before then, but most likely the 20th of June or June 21st, Sunday or Monday. Here's uh, the forecast graph for Koalinga. Here's the 5.9 that showed up on the, uh, the risk graph in Koalinga, which is near Parkfield. And this peak is also very strong on the 20th to 21st. Los Angeles, this spike in risk was on the 5th of June when the 5.3 hit the salt and sea area on June 5th in the morning. And this spike in risk is coming up on the 20th to 21st. Very strong uh, risk level in Los Angeles as well. Uh, El Centro, which is down near the Salton Sea, Palm Springs, that area. This is the spike in risk on the 5th that produced a 5.3. And this uh, risk level or spike in risk is uh, much stronger than the 5.3 and should produce at least a 6.0 earthquake in California. And uh, Eureka, this is the 5.9 on the 4th of uh, June that hit off Northwest California, 5.9. And here's the spike in risk on the 20th to 21st. So once again, the highest risk is in San Francisco Bay where a 6.5 earthquake is uh, possible. 6.0 earthquake is likely in the San Francisco Bay on the 20th to 21st, could hit earlier on the 19th today, most likely on Sunday or Monday, the 20th and 21st. And again, uh, the risk is very high across uh, Coalinga, Los Angeles, El Centro. So this uh, strong earthquake could hit anywhere in California, most likely in the San Francisco Bay or near uh, the, the Salton Sea, El Centro. All right, let's look at the uh, Anchorage, Alaska. This spike in risk back on the 30th produced a 6.1 just north of Anchorage, very high risk on the uh, 30th of May. And then this spike produced a 3.7. And this one here on the 17th produced a 5.3. 
near Sandpoint, Alaska, and 70% of this coming up on the 20th. And let's see what else we got here. Tokyo risk, this produced a 4.4 on the 2nd of June. And this one on the 9th produced a 4.5, almost in downtown Tokyo. This very high risk here was a 4.5. And this is on June 17th. And this one's coming up on June 23rd, 69% um, in Tokyo. So we are going to expand our list of uh, forecast cities across the, the world. Uh, this forecast model that we're using to get these graphs uses hundreds of thousands of data points to, to get a very, very accurate idea of what's going on in each of the cities that we forecast. Right now, We'll be adding Sendai, Japan today, but we have one, two, three, four, we have five cities in California uh, that we forecast for, the Koalinga, Eureka, Imperial, uh, or El Centro down near the Salton Sea in Los Angeles and San Francisco. And then we forecast for Anchorage. So we have six, seven, eight total cities across the world right now that we're doing with this uh, risk graph. Uh, including Tokyo, Japan, and Sendai, Japan. And we will ex be expanding to Athens, Greece, and Naples, and some other large cities uh, in, the, in the near future. But uh, each of these cities takes uh, a, a long time to process the data and uh, a long time to produce the risk graph. So we're sticking with eight cities for now. We'll be adding uh, more cities in the upcoming months. But for now, this is a very specific and very accurate forecast uh, graph for earthquakes in California. And every one of these graphs you see here, um, let, me go, let me go to the actual uh, quake. You can see all these risk graphs at uh, quakeprediction.com. And uh, here's the forecast risk uh, for San Francisco Bay here. And this spike in risk is uh, extremely high on the 4th of June. And this risk level on uh, the 20th and the 21st is much higher than the peak that produced the 5.9 off the Northwest California. And same thing down here, like in Los Angeles, you see this uh, peak here that produced the 5.3, this risk, uh, and spike in risk on the 20th is much higher than that, but this was a 5.3. Also the uh, El Centro risk graph, let's take a look at that over here. Um, there it is. The uh, 5.3 produced, uh, this was on the June 5th, and this is the spike in risk on uh, June 20th and 21st. So all the uh, risk graphs are, uh, here's the one in Koalinga, also much higher on the 20th and 21st. So all the risk graphs are pointing to a very large earthquake in California. And some of the, the other data that I look at, uh, proprietary information is uh, pointing to the San Francisco Bay and the Salton Sea. There looks like there's two very strong um, risk areas. One is uh, in, in the Hayward, California, around uh, Fremont, Hayward and San Leandro here in the East Bay along the Hayward Fault. And the other risk area is uh, down near the uh, Salton Sea here with that 5.3 hit. And the 5.3 that hit back on uh, June 5th at around 11, about 11 in the morning, I believe, 10 or 11 in the morning on June 5th. Well, that's the, uh, and here's where those 5.9s hit off the Northwest coast there. So those two areas are the areas to watch right around the San Francisco Bay and around the Salton Sea uh, where we could get, um, and it could happen anywhere in California, but th that's the most likely spot, the San Francisco Bay here near uh, Hayward 
and down near the Salton Sea here. So um, if you have uh, friends and family that, that uh, live in California or in more specifically the uh, San Francisco Bay or near the Salton Sea, please uh, warn them of this uh, risk level that's coming up on the 20th to 21st. And keep an eye on, we'll keep an eye on the four shocks that begin to happen uh, around California and keep you updated on that as well. Again, this is Luke Thomas, home course here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. Uh, issuing a warning for California for a strong earthquake on uh, June 20th or 21st and most likely to occur in the San Francisco Bay or near the Salton Sea. Thank you so much and we will talk to you after the earthquake. Thank you so much.